What's going on YouTube? Mr. Flip coming at you with another tabletop review. Yeah, buddy. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, what do I got going on now? Uh, so check it out. I was on my uh, buddy's Facebook page, Chunkin' Dunkin'. I'll be leaving the links down below in the description. And I was basically just scrolling through some of his uh, fishing pictures. And I seen a picture of this trout with these worms inside of this trout's mouth. And I'm talking like lodged down. I'm talking this trout really was interested in these baits. And so I asked my buddy, I was like, dude, what kind of worms are those? Those ain't something you normally see, you know, on your Walmart shelf or tackle, uh, tackle shop store or what have you. And um, he basically gave me the rundown of a company who makes these worms. And I was like, dude, those are epic. And since my birthday actually just passed, yay, happy birthday to me. Yeah, I'm getting old. Um, he sent me a birthday gift, and I was like, sweet, man, I really appreciate it. And, you know, what more could I do to give back by doing a product review? Uh, let me go ahead and first and foremost show you guys that picture. Look at this trout, you guys. That thing literally swallowed swallowed those things down. Um, here's his uh, Facebook page, Chunkin' Duncan. I'll be leaving the links down below in the description. And, uh, yeah, that trout really, I, man, that trout choked these worms down. I was like, dang, that's crazy. Uh, so these worms are actually by B.Line, IG, Co. Dot. Um, here's all the basic information right here. I'll be leaving all the links down below in the description as well, you guys. So there you have it if you guys want to get yourself an order in. Um, and we're going to do a full-out review. I'm not going to drag the review out too long, but... I definitely want to touch every single base on this product. Uh, one thing I do got to mention is I don't have all the colors. There are way more colors than what you see here. Um, you can see I got the like dark red, the orange, the pink, the white, and the green. Well, one thing really cool about the green I noticed is there's some smaller profile worms in here. Uh, we're gonna go. Let's go ahead and jump into those real quick. Uh, so these are the smaller profile ones that I received from my buddy. And these are really unique because for the fact that they actually have semi of what I call a boot tail. Uh, so you can see it's got like a flat boot tail on there. And these worms do float. Just to let you guys know, these do float. Uh, my buddy gave me a rigging instructional video. So I had to study it really quick just to get a rundown on it. And I got a rig already pre-set up that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, but before I do that, let's go ahead and jump into the bigger profile worms. Now, these ain't really huge profile. Uh, these are perfect for, you know, your finesse fishing, bass, crappie, trout, you name it. Uh, you can see they, they are rigged, and as I stated, they do float. Excuse me for my calluses. <laughs> a lot of people get, like, ill over dirty hands and callous tans, but I'm a hardworking man. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, there you go. You can see they are rigged. And these things, what I've noticed, for being such small diameter, these things are really flexible and stretchy. They're strong. And you don't, they're, you know, they're not those type of worms where a fish gets a hold of them and then you're having to change out a worm every time you catch a fish. Look at this. I mean, I'm stretching this thing out to, you know, a good distance. I can go further and break it, but I'm not going to. But I'm just showing you guys these things really stretch out to a, you know, a good distance. And that is one thing that is very uh, good for the purchase you know you're getting your money's worth uh, and it's not like you're buying these worms and it's like changing out a worm every time you catch a fish let's go ahead and jump into the drop shot rig that my buddy showed me I'm calling it the octopus rig because it kind of actually looks like an octopus even my buddy stated this kind of looks like it would be an octopus uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your white worm on first then you connect the green worm, then you kind of cross it over, and what you're gonna do, you can see, so there it is like that. That's how you're gonna put them on, white first, then green, then you're gonna cross this white one over and go right back into that hook, and then you kind of have like, I guess it'd be like an X, so you can see it's kind of an X, and that's this is gonna be a drop shot rig on an owner size 10 hook which my buddy actually sent me and blessed me with as well because I don't have very much small tackle stuff a lot of you guys know I do a lot of just basic swim bait fishing and when I do do trout fishing I use like you know spinner baits or what have you or rooster tails excuse me uh, so yeah 
So it's basically crossed over like such, and with this being a drop shot rig, you're going to get a lot of action from, you know, these worms. These worms got a lot of crazy action for the fact that they got a lot of flex to them. They're not stiff. Uh, one thing, another thing is, you know, the way I rigged it with the smaller profile is on a jig head. And as I stated, these have like a boot tail, basically, and... In my opinion, this is one thing I looked at and I was like, wow, this is going to be really effective uh, for the fact that, as I stated, they float. Uh, one thing I did do is I do have a bucket of water, a little bucket of water, and I'm going to bring that bucket of water over here real quick. I'm going to try to get the bubbles off the bottom first before we do this because my camera probably will not focus in on, you know, that while it's got bubbles in there, it's going to be off focus. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop this in. This is going to be set up as a drop shot. And the way to do a drop shot, you guys, is you're going to have to tie on the hook first. And then you're going to have a leader line, you know. And you've got you to kind of figure out how deep it is that you're fishing. Because one thing you don't want is you don't want this to be on the very top of the surface. You want it to be mostly like in the center or maybe one-fourth from the bottom of the, uh, the floor level. And so you got to kind of figure out how much of a leader you need and then you're going to have a little drop shot weight which I have some here. Let me get one out and I'll show you guys. A lot of you guys are familiar with drop shot rigging but I'm just still going to give kind of a demonstration on what to do. Uh, so there's your little weight. I'm not going to tie any line on but let's say so you got your hook tied on first and you got your little drop shot weight and then you just kind of figure out how much distance you need. Now for instance Right now when I throw this in there, it's going to float, of course, to the very top. But it's just a demonstration to show you that they do float even with a hook. So as I stated, that is an owner size 10 hook. And as you can see, they do float. Um, but that's going to be very effective on a drop shot rig because these will be in the water. And you're going to be getting a lot of action from them. Now with the uh, weighted jig head, one thing about this is, you know, you're basically fishing off the bottom floor. Uh, but what's really cool is, as I stated, these do float. So you can see there, I'm going to zoom in on it. Hopefully the zoom, hopefully it'll focus. But you can basically see for yourselves that the tail is, you know, floating to the, you know, mid-surface. It's, it's not exactly on the bottom. It's floating. And when you're pulling that through the water, that thing's going to be jigging. You know, and giving a lot of action. So you're going to have that tail moving around. That's going to cause a big reaction strike. So it's going to be really cool. So let's go ahead and get rid of that water there. Go back into the worms. So these are all basically the same size as I got. And as I stated to you guys, these are not all the colors. There are a lot more other colors to choose from. And I'm blown away, you guys, because it is hard to find good quality you know self-made worms and stuff like that that are built strong and as i stated these things are strong you guys we're going to go ahead and stretch one until it breaks and i'm going to show you guys for the fact that you know the diameter is so small you can see for yourselves as i stated i don't know exactly the diameter it might be on their web page and as i stated i'll leave all those links down below in the description but the diameter is so small you would think once you stretched it out to about there it would break but, I mean, these things got a lot of stretch. Let's see if I can get my fingers out of, out of the camera range. So, I mean, look at this thing stretched like crazy. And they're not, you know, it's not breaking. So, very durable. And that is definitely a plus because you are getting your money's worth. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bust out the card one more time and show you guys. B.line, IG, code, dot. Uh, and then there's the basic information there. Call or email to order. Um, and they also have a Facebook page. I'm going to try to get this thing right here in focus for you guys because a lot of you know how to use that little scan bar thingy. I personally don't. I guess you use your phone for it, um, but I really don't know. Let's see if it's going to get focused in or not. I'll take a screenshot and put it there, but there's the information if you guys want to get an order in. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Okay, camera's going to start acting up now. There it is. So there's the information. So yeah, buddy, there's the product review. One thing I do want to bring out to you guys is I was actually blessed by American Tackle Company, and I am now a pro staff for the company. Yes, yes. 
I don't know how it happens, you guys. I get so many sponsors and it's a blessing. I really do put in as much work for my sponsors as I can. Uh, you know, and hey, I tell you guys what, if you guys are looking for sponsors and stuff like that or curious how I get my sponsors and stuff, it's um, it, it just comes to me. I, I, you know, I, I'm not the type to really go out and ask for sponsors or any of that stuff. And I'm not trying to have, you know, a huge huge amount of uh, sponsors because you know to me when I have a sponsor I, I really want to focus on you know that sponsor so when I have a whole bunch of if I get a whole bunch of sponsors you know it, it makes it a little bit more harder on being able to focus on you know that one sponsor or what have you and being able to represent it so you guys notice like in my thumbnails or down below in the descriptions you know I have you know all my sponsors information and stuff like that another great app is NPS you guys on um, basically any it's like just the standard app let me see if I can bring it up on my phone for you guys real quick uh, let me see if I, I know I got it in here somewhere NPS so there's the app right there NPS um, there's actually my NPS you guys can see I don't I don't even have a really big uh, base or following group on there I mean I got 24 followers and that's it uh, but you can see I got my sponsors and stuff like that uh, line cutters American tackle company you guys can see here I know I'm kind of just jumping off subject but I just want to bring it up and you know I was actually blessed you know by being sponsored with this company um, so yeah if you guys are looking for sponsors and stuff like that uh, just go to NPS or you know you can reach out to companies and stuff like that and it's not like you're trying to feed off of them because a lot of these companies actually do want to sponsor people um, and it really doesn't matter how big of a following base you have or how many followers you got because as you guys see on NPS that's where I was contacted by American uh, fishing company and I only got 24 followers on there so it's not like I got a really big following base group uh, another thing with me is I won't pay for sponsorship you know I'm not gonna pay somebody to sponsor me or anything like that I try to stay away from that because I don't believe in buying my way into uh, companies or or anything in that nature you know if, if the company really wants me and they know that I, I'm worthy of doing work for them then you know then they'll pick me up but I've had companies you know say hey send me you know twenty five dollars or what have you and we'll sponsor you and I don't do none of that and you'll see a lot of that on the NPS app I'm not bashing the NPS app at all uh, but I just personally me I don't believe in buying my way into something you know I, I think uh, hard work is what gives you determination to be able to be followed or you know have that backbone from other companies um, so yeah back to this tabletop review you guys this is epic these things are phenomenal. Get your guys some orders in. Uh, I might be doing a giveaway here shortly. I got a big giveaway going on right now. We're in the middle of the holidays, so you guys know I'm busy. And um, But I do have a giveaway going on right now, a really big giveaway. And that is going to end January 1st. So make sure you enter in that. And that will be a couple of videos down below, I believe. So just click on my channel. Look for the big giveaway that's going on. And it ends January 1st. Um, but yeah, big shout out to my buddy uh, and to this company and I'll be leaving all the links down below in the description. I also have another care package coming with some scent, I believe it is. Uh, I've never personally used scent for fishing and stuff, but I'm going to give it a shot and we're going to use some scent on these worms. We're going to use some scent on some swim baits and stuff like that and it's going to be all out, you guys. I'm going to try to do a lot of finesse fishing and a lot of, you know, Try to get back into the bass fishing since the striper fishing has kind of died out on us. So that sums it up from this tabletop review. I love you guys. Sorry I blabbered away. Uh, I think we're like 14 minutes into this video. But uh, I'm up and out. Peace. Much love and happy holidays, you guys.